Bullet Train Projects clears hurdle with eminent domain ruling. Landon Kuhlman, the proposed high-speed railway between Houston and Dallas recently took a big step toward coming to fruition. Texas Central, the Dallas-based company behind the Bullet Train Project, received a favorable ruling from Texas 13th Court of Appeals on May 7. The appellate court held that Texas Central is both a railroad company and interurban electric railway, giving it the right to use eminent domain as the company attempts to secure the land necessary for its 240-mile railway. Texans Against High Speed Rail, which represents property owners along the proposed route, announced May 8 that it would appeal the ruling to the Texas Supreme Court. Texas Central said last fall that it had secured about 30 percent of the land it would need to construct an elevated railway for the nation's first high-speed train. Last week's ruling overturned a previous ruling by a judge in rural Leon County who said Texas Central was not a railroad and thus did not have powers associated with them, such as eminent domain. This decision is rooted in state law that allows survey access and use of eminent domain by railroads, pipelines, electrical lines and other industries that provide for the public good and a strong economy, Texas Central CEO Carlos Aguilar said in a news release. The former Northwest Mall site near the intersection at US 290 and Loop 610 is the planned Houston station for the bullet train project which would take passengers between Texas' two largest cities in a matter of about 90 minutes. Despite the favorable court ruling, there remain multiple hurdles to clear before construction can begin as Texas Central also is awaiting approval from the federal government to move forward. The Federal Railroad Administration must issue a final environmental impact statement and devise a custom set of rules for the railway that would be used to ensure its safety and govern its system and operations. Texas Central also laid off 28 employees in late March as it was hit by the economic downturn associated with the COVID-19 pandemic. Aguilar said at the time that the company, which has international investors and partners, could have its timeline delayed. Texas Central previously said it hoped to start construction by the end of 2020 and have the railway complete by 2026. Theladernews.com Chunks of China's powerful rocket fall back to Earth, narrowly missing NYC. It's the largest piece of space junk to fall uncontrolled in nearly 30 years. By Jennifer Lemon the large core stage of China's Long March 5B rocket re-entered Earth's atmosphere and plummeted out of control to the surface earlier this week. At 100 feet long and 16 feet wide, it's the largest piece of space junk to fall uncontrolled from low Earth orbit in almost 30 years. Initial reports suggested the almost 20-ton rocket stage had fallen into the Atlantic Ocean, off the west coast of Africa. But new reports from social media and some African news organizations suggest pieces of the rocket may have been strewn across parts of Cote d'Ivoire. The heavy lift rocket, which was carrying China's prototype crew capsule, successfully launched from Wenchang Launch Center on Hainan Island off the country's southern coast. Typically, rockets have a first stage that propels them for the first few minutes after launch while a second stage helps the payload reach orbit, but Long March 5B was different. Instead, the rocket had a single core stage and four boosters that propelled it off the launch pad. The speed and angle of the rocket's decaying orbit made it difficult to track. Predictions spanned a range of sites from New York City to New Zealand, according to Space Flight Now, the U.S. Air Force's 18th Space Control Squadron which tracks man-made objects in orbit around Earth, confirmed the rocket's re-entry was on May 11 at around 11.33 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Initial reports claimed the spacecraft had plummeted into the ocean off Africa's west coast. Now, two villages in Côte d'Ivoire have reported finding what they believe to be debris from the fallen rocket stage. According to images posted to social media and reported in the French-language news organization of Rick Sawyer, Jonathan McDowell, 
an astronomer at the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics, tweeted that the location of one fallen object, a nearly 40-foot-long pipe, seen in a number of photos, is directly on the CZ-5B re-entry track, while there's no official word on whether these pieces of debris are actually parts of the fallen rocket stage, it's looking more and more likely, Lassen is Erbo. Executive Secretary of the Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty Organization, tweeted May 12 that the International Monitoring Systems Infrasound Network, primarily designed to detect nuclear blasts in the atmosphere, registered signals of debris traveling at supersonic speeds in the area. What's the precedent here? In 1991, the Soviet Soviet 7 space station tumbled back to Earth breaking up over Argentina, the Mir space station, which was decommissioned in 2001 and broke apart during a controlled re-entry above the waters near Fiji, is the largest man-made object to re-enter its atmosphere, and NASA's Skylab space station famously pummeled a small Australian town in 1979. If the Long March 5B car stage re-entered Earth's atmosphere just 15 minutes earlier, Chunks of it very likely could have fallen across New York City, Ars Technica reported. This isn't the first time China has played fast and loose with falling rocket parts. In March, when China launched its Long March 3B rocket, a booster crash landed downrange in the Gizha province. Late last year, another Long March 3B rocket ferried two satellites into orbit but dropped sections of its boosters on a settlement near the launch site. In 2018, yet another booster fell from the sky after the launch of a Long March 3B rocket and exploded just outside of a small town in the Guangxi province. Witnesses posted stunning video clips of the fallen booster to social media. In addition to smashing into the ground with unbelievable force, these boosters often still have traces of the toxic propellant hydrazine in them. As tempting as it is, if one falls into your yard, don't try to get a closer look. www.popularmechanics.com